Welcome. Today I'm going to be going over how to import individual Kindle highlights into individual notes within Obsidian. So to start, we are going to need some community plugins. Make sure to turn on community plugins. Um, restricted mode cannot be off. We're going to go to browse. We are going to go to Kindle highlights. We're going to install that going to wait a moment while we make sure that we can also enable that. While we're doing that, we can get the other one that we need, which is Note Refactor. This is the other community plugin we're going to need to use. All right. So waiting for both of those to install. And we have enabled both of them. Now, we are going to be switching up some settings within each of these. So the first setting we're going to do is to, um, if you want to switch up the file folder location, the more important one is the manage setting. Um, one moment, I just need to change it it's so I can see. There we go. Got to have that save button. All right, so we got a file name. You can keep that the same. File content, um, you're gonna uh, be able to keep that the same as well. Highlight is what we're gonna change. So the key to this whole system is that we need to make each highlight unique using a header. We're going to do uh, heading three for this purpose. So to start, we're going to do create, I believe it's called creation date. You can check that here. Created date. Sorry about that. Created date. And we're going to want more information than just that. So created date. We're going to go with, sorry, this date this 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 we're gonna go month day year um hour minute second as well and then on top of that we are also going to include the name of the title and I will show you why it'll be abundantly clear when the time comes okay you can keep pretty much the rest of information the same if you want to no problem there click save oh this is the result by the way you're gonna see each note will have the date the um, highlight was created along with the name of the book. Gonna save that. Uh, once it's like that, you can X out. It's all good. Now I'm going to go to Notre Factor and change some stuff here. So you can transclude by default to do all this. Honestly, all of this can stay the same if you wanted to. Play around with the settings. You're going to figure out what you want specifically. Specifically around like vault locations, stuff like that. That's not really the purpose of this training. So now you're going to use this button, Sync Your Kindle Highlights. Click it. Press Sync. And you can go with the Amazon Cloud. I always use a My Clippings file. So I am going to now upload my clippings. Um, if I, don't, I have my Kindle plugged in at the moment. So within Kindle, you go to Documents, and then there's this My Clippings text document. Open that, you can see it's syncing. Um, these are some books that I've been reading. Now we're gonna go to A Wrinkle in Time. And you can see these highlights, you can see this. Now what you're gonna do is open up the um, Command Palette with Control P or Command P. Then you're going to type in Refactor, we're going to split note by headings H3. 
And once you do that, you can see what's going to happen. So the highlights turn to this. Um, th this can change if you want to in the note refactor settings. You can make it so the content stays the same, but a link also shows up. And then you can see an individual listing for each one under the highlight. So if you want to, you can import the stuff. Um, then you can put your notes, you can, you know, put some tags if you want to, however you want to do it as you're reviewing your highlights. And then afterwards, go to that command P, get that uh, split note by headings, heading three, and again, it'll create a bunch. Um, and as you can see, it didn't actually do any, it just added to ones that already existed. Um, so that's something to note. All right, hope this is helpful.